So it has come to my attention that we have a couple of negative Nancys on here and a few sensitive individuals on here. And that's fine, you are entitled to be sensitive, but check me out when I say this. I did not sign up, nor will I sign up to be in whatever world that you want to be in, which is sensitivity and, and want to make people talk politically correct and all this shit. I'm not about that. I'm about freedom of speech, white, green, brown, black, purple. I don't give a fuck. So, you know, you can spare me the, the long ass talks and all of that shit. I want to laugh, so I'm going to laugh. If this, I don't give a fuck if it's the worst black joke ever. If this shit is funny, it's funny. I mean, and how the fuck do you silence a comedian? How the fuck do you get mad about Don Rickles? Like, if you don't know what Don Rickles does, I mean, find a bridge and utilize that motherfucker. Just jump. Head first. You know what I'm saying? Don Rickles, please. Entertain. Hi, Don. Oh. Hi. Are you there? <laughs> yeah. Are you talking through a kazoo? <laughs> I want to know one thing. Are you this funny? If you would come to my home, as you are on TV and making people so happy, I just love you. Thank you, darling. And you can be I'm sure I, I, I won't be at your home. <laughs> well, the, the only problem with the horses is that, that four of us mounting together is a difficult proposition. <laughs> that is not easy. <laughs> I found that out at a party I was at one night. <laughs> You've had, hey, not lucky in love, but now, thank God, you've met the woman of yes. your dreams. Really. Well, <laughs> and, uh... They're rerunning your shows in Zambezi tonight. <laughs> to calm the natives. Yeah, sure, in front of Frank, you didn't come on like this. <laughs> I think they thought you were Henry Gonzalez from the Whitewater hearing. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Try to get excited, No, Jay. no, it's... I know that throws you excitement, but... Uh... You gonna say something? No. Oh, you, you always do? I mean, I was toy. That's a sign of age when you start to go, hey, hey, oh, I forgot I wanted to say something. But, uh, we went on a trip. <laughs> I, I don't lie. You're old. Uh, nice to have you here. Nice to be back, John. And a happy Thanksgiving to you yeah. and your big party that you're going to have. Thank you. Because you, you never travel with Barbara anyplace, just by the two of you? You've met Barbara. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now, would you like to be in a bedroom with her just laying there going, okay, it's your turn. Uh, no, she's a lovely wife. She really is. I, I, I say this publicly. I married a Valium. Uh, uh, anyway, it's good to see you, David. Nice I'm delighted you. you're making a lot of money and you're uh, in a big you. theater. I don't think it's going to last. <laughs> but it was wonderful. We had a great we had dinner. We went to dinner. I met your lovely wife, uh, yeah. Barbara. Thank you. Yeah. She was. And we were a little upset that you didn't go for the check. But, uh... No, the check came and David did one of his cute things. Mm. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I, no, he didn't. We, you were my guest and you were great. And with the sneakers and the baseball cap and all, you know, this way nobody can bother you. And nobody did. Yeah. Uh, and everything's uh, good? Good at home? Well, <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's great. She, I got a Jewish wife just lays in bed and goes, is that about it? Uh, you know, look, we're going we're gonna to end this, you know, in May. Now, are you going to miss coming here? You're leaving in May? Yes. I didn't know that. That's right. You're you going? Know, you know that. Oh, well, I do. And I'm, I'm going to be very depressed for about two minutes. Uh, <laughs> Puppet show. That, yeah, that's not Work a bad idea. Working with Frank Sinatra, who right now is in the hotel room going, is it morning? <laughs> anyway, uh... It's how's, how's Frank doing? Is he all he's right? He's great. He's yeah. great. I always tell him he's great. Otherwise, you could hurt the family. <laughs> We couldn't do the show without Mr. Schaefer, nor would we choose to do it. That gives you a hint about your talent. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the um, Navy. How many years were you in the Navy? Two, four? Uh, uh, no, two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. And Where were you? Uh, I was not in the Navy. No, you were in Indiana with your father saying, the rake is broke, Dad. <laughs> anyway. Uh... And you started me on this show. And Flip Wilson's the only other guy that I ever said started on the Carson show. You know, and you hate to get like... Uh, thank you, Johnny. Thank you. You know, I've thanked you many times. You know, oh boy, did I thank you. <laughs> but you were always a great guy. You always kept saying, "Did you thank me?" <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> Reno, Reno's a lot of fun. I, on Saturday night, you watch flies die in a truck. So it's a great town, Reno. Anyway, Jack, it's always good to see you, and they don't wear anklet socks anymore. Uh, so don't worry about it. I mean, you know, Jilly Rizzo could have come up with an Uzi, and that would have been the end of it. <laughs> I don't know Jilly Rizzo. <laughs> don't drop names like that, Bob. Don't you have a family? <laughs> I used to go on at five in the morning. Yeah, but with a few vodkas, you know, I, I used to just stand out there and say, "How was the show?" And what, what would the audience look like? <laughs> Derelicts. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of this. <laughs> Rose, isn't he great? <laughs> but uh, it was. Uh... I was startled to learn this. You have a Twitter account. <laughs> Tell me about this. Tell me. I want to hear about this. <laughs> well, my wife was lonely. She said, "Let's Twitter." Right. Anyway. Uh, I'm a guest. Don't don't make me have a test for crying out loud. Have you tried Have you tried sexting? Have you done the sexting yet? Yeah, last night I gave her a shot. Really, really. <laughs> she was in the hall. I was in the closet. And I blow a whistle. Boom, and I missed her. Wow. Anyway, uh... we've had we've had a we've had a great <laughs> life together. Just keep giving them the jewelry, and they keep laying there. Now you. Is this a rally? <laughs> Mike, uh, you know, people have, I think, an impression of you of being a big, kind of loud guy, always working, making a, the smart remarks. I do that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> so anyway, you and De Niro, you had a good rapport. You got along. Oh, yeah, it was great. We went out to dinner. It was like being alone. Uh-huh. Uh, so now, do you want to marry my daughter? How old's your daughter? 12. No. No, no, no. No, no my daughter's 29, and she's very beautiful. Yeah? Well, yeah. I'd, maybe I'd like to meet her. Well, what kind of money you got? Well, I'm doing pretty good. Okay. I had well, a pretty good year. Would you become a Jew? <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> okay, it's set. The wedding's Thursday. Go ahead, How do you make love to you? You must come in on an angle or something. I would love to be there when you make love to her, with your eyes and the way you say, not, not too fast, because my heart could stop. I know your health, your condition. How could this beautiful woman fall in love with a man that's going to die in about an hour? <laughs> For my book, if you buy it, I'm very grateful. My wife has jewelry and my kids want to go to college. <laughs> my grandchildren, my kids are grown. I, my daughter went to USC and, and studied uh, tennis. <laughs> anyway, uh, I make fun of her because she married a rich guy and took her off my back. Anyway, uh, but this weekend, uh, you're going to be doing a show with Regis. Now, that's, yes. is that true? No, that's a, it's a mercy mission. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, like you me. covered everything I was going to talk about, so I guess... Uh, well, something. we can wrap it up. Get a sandwich and let's go home. <laughs> Don, you're getting... Move. Am I right? Are you getting gray? Yes, Larry, I'm getting older. <laughs> doing shows like this. <laughs> you married late in life. It's been successful, though, right? Yeah, well, have you seen her? <laughs> anyway, uh, and that was with the days when albums were big, you know, right. and now that's over with and I'm on this. Right. But, uh, <laughs> no, I know your wife. She's lovely. She lovely. really is. Lovely woman. And your wife, a lovely woman also. Of course. Thank you very much. We both have lovely women. Now let's get some broads. <laughs> of course they don't speak okay. French. I got enough trouble in the neighborhood trying to let them know who I am. Right. Don't steam me. You're getting Good. on my nerves. Right. <laughs> you came from, when I met you, you were just out of Nebraska saying, get me a monkey, anybody, help me. <laughs> Well, sure. <laughs> Women were out of the question. <laughs> now, I was with Sinatra five days and five nights. Frank was great. Every night, little, bo you know, little booze. We used to drink. You don't drink anymore. Not much. No. Yeah, and look what it's done to you. Uh, <laughs> getting a chance to be with you in this big theater, you know. Yeah. And everybody loves you. A lot of good talk on the street. I, I walked up to an Italian guy selling pretzels. I said, David, let him. And he went, I got my own problems. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> So uh, that's the way I did this because they I all know, do that. They all have some sort of fungus. Sure. I don't yeah. know what the hell it is. Oh! <laughs> now, hey, I said it. You don't have to that's worry. Right. I mean, you got it locked in. Yeah. Nobody bothers you. <laughs> anyway, uh. In other words, it'll say Robert Lozier, Don Rickles? No, no. It'll say Don Rickles with help. Right, with help. <laughs> anyway, uh. No, no. It'll say Ann Pario, I believe. Right. Anthony LaPaglia or Robert Loggia, right. either one, and right. co-starring Don Rickles. It should ah. be an exciting night. I'll bet it is. But there will be a charge to see the premiere, ah. but you're a senior citizen, so you have no problem. Oh, I see. This is, uh, this is and you can come in, right. you know, you. with your wife, whoever it is. Oh, anyway, uh, no, Fair she's point. a pretty woman, but she married, you know, she knew she was going to come into money. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, she's, she, I, I have the kind of wife, you know, on the wedding night, just lays there and goes, is that about it? <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> And I was a seaman first place going, I don't like fighting. And those other guys went, over here. <laughs> and Japanese, you are my dear friends, really. 
Uh, I got how, many, how many do you know? Huh? Well, how many Japanese do you know? I, I never know. I saw one prisoner at the time of the war, and they are now our dear friends. In fact, I love them so much, my kid has all their toys. I didn't know. But, uh, but the most, the most she, interesting... She's waiting to get into the game. She's got her mind on other things. I'm I sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. Anyway, uh... No, I don't do that anymore. I learned oh, my lesson. Well, I don't do that. Well, yes. I obey all posted speed limits. Wonderful. Here's a cookie. <laughs> Who's, who's... Trouble with the valet parking, they lost my car. I see. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, I know. But, uh... Are you married, Larry? No. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, uh... No, it's a great life. You ought to come out here, Larry, as soon as you can chip in and get a jacket. <laughs> with all the nonsense, I say for the new year, may God bless you, may you love each other, and cherish. It's so important. Be friends and make love. I love you both. I want... I want, I want people to know, and I think people do know this, that you are truly unique in the world of comedy. Uh, you're a cultural icon, and you have uh, withstood and survived and succeeded the test of time, and America loves you. Congratulations on a wonderful career. Thanks. 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 This dude has a smart ass mouth, like, there's just no way around that. He just has a smart ass mouth, and I love it. Everything that comes out, like, it's just, it's horrible. And it's just, it's the right type of horrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever can get offended by Don Rickles is a fucking moron, if you ask me. Uh, I didn't hear plenty of black jokes in, from him and fucking hilarious <laughs> you know what I'm saying the fuck I look like having an attitude on a legend like this it's just ridiculous but anywho um, hopefully you enjoyed this video right here and uh, drop me a comment let me know what you think